Yeah, I'm back from the dead. I know, I know, I said I'll be uploading every Thursday and Friday, but man, I'm gonna be honest. Finals has been tough. Like, I had to really catch up and finish everything, clear out my bloody Google Classroom, and man, do I need a vacation. But hey, I'm back. I finished everything. Everything's cleared. So yeah, before I go on a little vacay and play a lot of Fortnite, I'm gonna release some videos for you guys. Because I've been away for so long, and I'm so sorry. And hey, since summer's coming, I got time now. More videos are coming, I should say. And I'm gonna be honest, I missed out on a lot. The train is crawling with cancer. I missed out on so much. So much has happened since the last time I made a video. So in this video, I'm starting some sort of a series, let's say. A series thing, like a video thing I might do every time I leave for like two or three weeks or months, let's say. It's called Culture Catch-Up. Yeah, I made the name creative right pretty much in here i compile everything and talk about everything i've missed the last two or three weeks all split from drama to a lot of stuff and i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be really honest i missed out on so much i missed out a lot and so in every culture catch-up video i split the video into three parts or chapters let's say first part is of course the culture and pretty much everything that's going on in hollywood everything just everything pretty much everything's going on the things that everyone in this world is literally talking about and the, the big news trending and all that the big news also that, all that stuff second part is everything going on on the k-pop scene and the last part is either ksi or youtube drama youtube drama pretty much at the end so yeah three chapters in this culture catch-up series so yeah this series is pretty much drama alert i'm gonna be honest I've missed out on a lot recently, so yeah, let's begin. Before we begin actually, I'm gonna do some promos and say, I started a Discord, yeah, we can talk about whatever, yeah. Yeah, pretty much this. I made this Discord so that we can like talk about whatever you want there and right now the status of the Discord is literally just dog poo. So yeah, if you wanna chat and have some fun in the community, join the Chulis Discord now. So yeah, let's begin. Culture, yeah. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> oh, wow. Will Smith slapped Chris Rock on the Oscars for a bald joke done on Jada. Uh, Will Smith, uh, why did you do that, my man? Yeah. I mean, Will did laugh at the joke till he saw Jada roll her eyes like a twat. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? The fuck you say to me, you little shit? And man, and man rushed and literally slapped him and literally screamed at him, keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. Bro, why don't you tell your wife Jada to take August's dick out of her mouth? Like, jeez. In my opinion, I think Will should have talked to Chris about the joke in private. Maybe tell Chris about it backstage. He didn't have to be impulsive like that. Like, kind of sad that the attention of the hardworking actors and directors nominated, the winners, the culture of the Oscars, the attention was just flooded with just the, the slap. Their attention just got taken away by high temper, wild, wild west Will Smith slapping good man Chris Rock. And I'm sorry, what happened after was just retarded from Will Smith. He apologized in his speech for winning Best Actor to the Oscar staff and the audience, but not to Chris himself. He should have just apologized to Chris himself just on the speech. Like, why? I, well, he did apologize publicly to Chris Rock the next day. But yeah, dude, it's too late now. Well, yeah, I could see this potentially ending Will Smith's career. And at another point where, like, I don't think it would end his career. I mean, dude's already a household name. What's the use? Mr. D-O-double-G has bought his first ever label he was signed to, Death Row Records. Yeah, take that, Suge Knight. Suge Knight recently said he used to be a superstar and now he's just a no-limit soldier. What do you say to that? Nothing. He used to be a CEO, now he's just a inmate. But... 
another thing like I'm kind of angry at Snoop Dogg at the moment. So um, weeks after, I think maybe a month after the Snoop Dogg death row announcement, um, Snoop Dogg removed all death row releases except Tupac's in all so in all uh, streaming platforms. Sorry. So yeah, pretty much albums like Dr. Dre's The Chronic and Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style are off Spotify. And some of you are probably wondering. But how can I still listen to these songs? Like, how can I still listen to Nothing by the G-Thang and Gin and Juice? You know one of those bootleg compilation albums you see in your local Philippine market? Yeah, when you try to listen to Nothing but a G-Thang on Spotify, it'll be directed to some bootleg, uh, dodgy bootleg compilation album. Of course, some songs aren't available, but some songs just redirect you to a bootleg compile album. So yeah, so far, CEO Snoop, um, wrong move, Chief. Holy Jesus! What is that? What the fuck is that? Final one for the culture section. Um, Morbius got 20% on Rotten Tomatoes. Bruh, I swear. Every hero movie Jared Leto's in is just terrible. Suicide Squad? No, Morbius. Jared Leto is literally the kryptonite of superhero movies. Alright, K-pop section. Let's go. Actually, yeah, I, I, this is the one I mostly missed out on. Got the beat. Yeah, the girls on top. Yeah, the the powerhouse girl group of um, SM. Yeah, I'm planning to make a separate video on them soon. So yeah, watch out for that to know my opinion on Step Back. Red Velvet finally released Rave Festival 2022. Feel My Rhythm and I'd say it's my favorite album from Red Velvet surpassing the perfect red velvet their vocals were great album has variety love that production luscious i'm actually happy seeing girl groups trying out a modern trap sound now first was twice now red velvet it's nice to see i'd say one issue is that the album just gets boring for me at the middle of the album but the album's pretty good i'd say my favorite songs are feel my rhythm and beg for me and the least favorites are probably uh, Bamboleo, I think. Is that how you say Bamboleo? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's my least favorite song on that album. Yeah, 7.5 out of 10. Alright, if it's actually true, let's go, boys! Hell, hell yes. Yeah, earlier this week, fans came across the following item being registered on a website where companies register products. For like a go global item trade number, something like that. I don't know. The item was like titled like Nah and then first mini album registered by JYP. So of course, who first comes to mind when seeing Nah and JYP? Sana! Alright, I'm kidding. <laughs> Nayon of course comes to mind and it's interesting. If a Nayon solo is really in the works, then A, hey, I'm here for it. Now this one I'm most excited about. After the goddamn Jamie controversies, Jay is finally releasing Car Crash on Spotify. Let's go! Haven't been this gassed in a while. Like, he's been releasing multiple teasers recently for his upcoming solo debut. And hey, I'm ready for it. I've been waiting for it ever since I heard that song at Head in the Clouds and I'm so excited. The song comes out this Friday and I'm gassed. And obviously, I'll be reviewing the song on the channel, so yeah, watch out for that. And hey, Jay, Car Crash, I'm excited. Please release it already, god damn it. So yeah, that's all for the K-pop news. YouTube stuff, YouTube drama, let's go. <laughs> the fact that this fight is possible now baffles me. Alright, so pretty much after the Deji loss, guess I uploaded a video telling off Deji about his loss, telling that he should have punched more and he was confused about Deji's game plan in the fight. Guess I was just trying to tell Deji to do better and pretty much he was trying to discipline Deji and have like a talk to talk bro to bro since guess I knew that making a video would get through Deji. Alex Wasabi of course saw this. <laughs> Alex Wasabi of course saw this as Kesai attacking Deji, of course he would. 
So he made a video saying KSI is bullying Deji. It is pretty much just him doing everything in his power to make sure that if his little brother isn't already at rock bottom, that he 100% is now. This is your little brother. I can understand tough love, but why do you have to be unnecessarily mean? Family is everything, everything. Like, come on. How am I the one defending your little brother? After everything that man has been through, you just had to pile on. You had to add your two cents. Nothing encouraging. No, hey, I'm always here for you. You couldn't even muster up a single encouraging word. The, the whole video was just, your whole video. I left all this beef between us go. I let it go. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go to London. I'm gonna get in the ring with Deji with the whole entire UK against me that we would let this all go. Win or lose, it'd be done. No more beef. After my fight, I even took the time to greet you in the ring to make sure we were good and put all this to rest. And I was expecting a fair play Alex Wasabi tweet. Something like that, like you did for Vinny. I guess that's just too much to ask from somebody like you. What are you, retarded? I know you're not retarded. What are you, Down syndrome? The dude is brain dead, so no need to see more of that. <laughs> and KSI of course responded. I was expecting a fair play Alex Wasabi tweet. Something like that, like you did for Vinny. I guess that's just too much to ask from somebody like you. Shut the fuck up, man. I gave you your congrats when I saw you in person. What more do you want? We are not cool. I am not your friend. You beat my brother, so you have one over me. And I don't like that. So what the hell? I'm not gonna tweet you, you twat. <laughs> Keep the hate on me, like you've been doing for years. Make a, make a laughing at Alex Asabi 3. I don't care. But why do you have to put your brother down? Does it make you feel better? Oh, don't worry, bro. I'll make sure to make a laughing at Alex Wasabi 3 if we ever fight. I'll be sure to film it after the fight when I show everyone how shit you are. And Alex, I'm not trying to bring him down. I'm trying to send him to hell so he can wake the fuck up and be serious for once. I need him to be serious about this boxing thing, man. This is your little brother. I can understand tough love, but why do you have to be unnecessarily mean? Because after three plus years of boxing, Deji still doesn't understand what it takes to win a boxing match. Clearly, you have a different way of dealing with your brother. Mine is tough love. Yours is... I don't know. Ho hugging your brother when he shits on your face. Family is everything. Everything. Like, come on. How am I the one... Defending your little brother. You're defending him. It's just rubbing salt in his wounds and repeatedly slapping him in the face of the fact that you were the one who was actually able to beat him. After everything that man has been through, you just had to pile on. Yes. You had to add your two cents. Yes. Nothing encouraging. No, hey, I'm always here for you. You couldn't even muster up a single encouraging word. The... The whole video was just, your whole video. Yes, Alex, my whole video was my whole video. Whatever the fuck that means. Now, let's not act like I haven't supported Digi my whole fucking life. I mean, how do you know I haven't given him words of encouragement? Do you know that I've told him to go see a therapist? Because I've told him how beneficial it is and how it's helped me in my career and my thoughts and feelings and just in life in general. Of course you don't know. You know why? Because he's my brother. Don't tell me how to be a brother to my own brother. You've got your ways and I've got mine. Everyone is different. There isn't just one way to do everything, you know? This is your brother. This is your, like, you're supposed to lift him up. I've lifted him up several times, but sometimes you just gotta give him a fucking reality check. Oh my gosh, if, if anybody talked to my little brother like that. What are you gonna do? No, I'm intrigued. What are you gonna do to me? <laughs> and days later, Alex responded back and Jesus, it's this it's just the same old dumb It's just the same old brain dead dumbo sh like man stop just no this dude in my opinion doesn't have the right to say anything you won one fight 
You won against the punching bag. Stop the cap. Dyslexic coon. My gosh. Oh yeah, speaking of KSI. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading. What am all the money feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from feeling. Leading the pack. Yep. Hard to believe. A YouTuber having his own shoes. The levels. The levels. So KSI has collabed with Adidas and made the shoe. What do you, what do you call the shoe? Let me search it up right now. Pretty much the KSI shoe. There you go. Let's just call it the KSI shoe. And the design looks cold, you know. I could see myself wearing this. But unfortunately, this thing is only available in the UK, not worldwide. The mother f Gideon wants the box. Wow. So Gideon's been talking about boxing for a while. He's also said that he's been a very big fan of KSI, which is cool to see. And he'd be honored to be a part of KSI's upcoming boxing event in August, apparently. Question is, who would Gideon fight? Who, who would fight Gideon? Like, who else is in mind for Gideon's opponent? I mean, apparently Speed, Speed, of all people, Speed wants to fight him. But, I mean, look how lanky he is. <laughs> Come on, dude. He, he doesn't even... They, say, weight class, weight class. Come on, the weight class. But yeah, I mean, I don't know who would fit. Maybe someone would call Gideon out to a fight in a few days. I mean, I don't know. In the next few days, there might be someone who would call out Gideon. I don't know. But yeah, right now, no one's in mind. Speaking of boxing. Let's go, Reeves. There you go. Stay nice and tight. Yes, you saw that right. Michael Reeves is boxing. This guy. Now we can observe the difference between this vest and the normal one. Oh my fucking god! This guy. It's just like a cheap one I got kind of off of Amazon. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. This guy. This guy. Honey, I gotta know, how do you feel that I'm taller than you? All my height went to my cock. This guy is boxing. What the hell? So you're in iDub's boxing thing? Is that what? Honey, can I? Can we talk about this for a second? Sorry, can we talk about this for a second? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Can we talk oh about this for a second? God. Can we please talk about it? Oh, okay. Oh, I can't believe you found out this way. Oh my god. Oh for my god. Two. My longest gaslight ever has just occurred. How <laughs> fucking dumb do you feel now? For two months? I'm like, why the f what are you saying? You want to be a boxer? You're not a fucking boxer. Dude, for two months, I was picking up random boxing gloves and I was like jabbing Lily in the shoulder. I'm like, I'm gonna be a boxer. I'm gonna be a boxer. And I'm like, shut the f up. And I'm the every day, and I made her think that was a really lame, ongoing joke. You don't understand. And I would take videos and I'd be like in the store and I'd be like, ooh, I need maybe I need those that padding. And she'd be like, for what? And I'd be like, oh, because I'm gonna be a boxer. I need it for my hands. I should be pissed. And then I'm, I learned on Reddit today that you're in items is charity boxing event. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, the stars align. Like everything starts making sense. Oh my god, I wish I was there. You guys have no idea how many times he's made shitty boxing jokes to me. Oh. It's been months. I have a punching bag in my garage now. And she was like, that's really a lot to keep up the meme, Michael. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> she was like, wow, you really went this far. How do you not notice that? I had four pairs of boxing gloves and I thought, two I, pairs of boxing I gloves. I really thought you were just doing a long con. I'm like, this is this might be just like his way of exercising maybe, but he's just rolling with it. We're living in a time where Michael Reeves is about to box. This guy is boxing. Bro, I just can't believe it. Like, out of all the social media people, like of all the YouTubers on this platform, I never expected Michael Reeves to box. <laughs> wow. So yeah, uh, Michael Reeves is fighting on that IAW's charity event that no one cares about. I'm only gonna watch it for Michael Reeves. So Michael Reeves is apparently fighting against Graham Stephan, some money guy, I don't know. I swear I can- <laughs> I swear I can tell this event is gonna be a cum fest. I can already see it. Yeah, I pray Michael Reeves wins for the meme. I pr I pray Michael Reeves wins. I pray he wins just for the meme. I just want to see him win for the meme. I mean, seeing him box is already going to be a meme. So yeah, I'm hoping he wins for the meme. Win for the culture, Lord Reeves. For the culture. Yeah, I guess that's all I missed from what I know. Yeah, did I miss anything? Did I forget to talk about something? I don't know. 
comment down below for some more stuff that I missed. Then maybe I'll talk about it. And yeah, that's the video. Subscribe. Bye. And um, oh yeah, join my Discord. Yeah, bye. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. Don't make me change my mind. Now I won't.